one, uh, so Tim had written to a video Larry put out earlier today called Broken Promises. And um, I just can't believe how much freaking Larry was interrupting the interview. Um, I hope you guys saw my last video I posted um, that Jesse had uploaded. And, um, or my reaction to that. Um, and yeah, so I guess Tom is a little upset with that. I want, uh, I still want Tom to be the winner. I mean, like I said in my other video, I don't know if this is all just filler because this adds drama. Um, and you know, it might, you know, Tom might not even want to actually really be his cameraman. Um, but I don't know. I hope that it is true because I really want it to be Tom. Um, but anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. See what Tom has to say. Wait, what, what? What, what? Oh, is he, oh, is this like during the podcast? Because then us was supposed to be on Wednesday the next day during the podcast, maybe. You know, listen a little bit because I feel like Dad's going to start talking about me. So, he did one-on-one interviews with everybody separately? Yeah, he, he had, what did you me and JT sat outside. And we just were supposed to, he had told us, you know, just, you know, ask them questions and everything, try to find out some information because they will talk to people different outside than they will in the interview. Yeah, and they're more, they're more, yeah, they're more yeah, comfortable. And I think he did one-on-one interviews last time he did a cameraman competition. I'm not really sure. So, the, and then did you guys sit down and like, go over what you guys thought? Sorry, my webcam is actually blocking Larry right now. Sorry about that. Huh. Usually, I was. I've been blocking Tom's beautiful face. Barged in. What did you ever hear him say? I overheard him say something about a contract. Signed a contract. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I was listening in, so why don't you uh, tell Joe here the uh, the whole story, the real story? What story? I just told him. Oh, you mean the part where you conveniently left out the fact that these supposed to be one on one interviews and you walked in while I was in the middle to of mine? Get water! No ice. Yeah, well, oh, no, 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 dude. I walked in to get a glass of water. Right, a glass of water. Where were the interviews being held? Inside the house. Inside the yeah. house, right in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I didn't know it was in the kitchen. No, Joe has I... lost a lot of weight. I don't know why I just realized that, but he really has slimmed down a lot. I would have thought he'd been in his little studio room where he's in, in the living room or something like that. I didn't know it was at the kitchen. Yeah, I, I would be no, but it didn't mean you still had to come in and find out. No. What? And you should have been able to hear us talking anyway. Not right. to mention, Tom, that there, there's a bathroom right there, too. If you have to go to the bathroom, you got to go right there. Maybe. Right, well, then at least announce yourself. You just walked in, and next thing we know, you're around the corner while we're having the interview. So I had to get a glass of water, that's all. Yeah, because there wasn't enough water outside. Oh, yeah, they there didn't have water out there. He put the refrigerator to get water? Yeah, but I didn't know they were sitting at the table. But when they went into the room where they were sitting and, at the table. And the table. water outside, they were, there was that cheap, crappy bottle water. Great thing. value? I don't know if it was Great nest, value. Nest Great or, value. Yeah, this is okay. I don't it's care for value. that. I, I only like Poland Springs. Oh, you said it was his face that was the creation with us. I only like the sunny water. What was it? Pete, Peter, Pete Kelly. Yeah, I remember that. But, but no. Stop. It still doesn't matter. There's water outside. It, was, it wasn't warm. It was in a basin. It, whatever it was, a bucket. I don't know what it was. It was one, of those metal, that one of those metal things. Yeah, I know yeah, it was a cooler. It was a keg, uh, yeah, but it was filled with water and ice. It was, it was plenty cool. Was what did you take like, from the top? Tom, it was 80 degrees yesterday. It was not 80 degrees. It was, it got a bit, it was still, the water can't be that warm. I mean, it's not even it with 100 degrees in the middle. It was of basically in a cooler. It was warm. It's in the sun, too, the whole time. So wait, wait, It was not in the sun. It was in the shade. So you went in there, or right, maybe you just went in there. didn't know you were, maybe, give, give him credit. Maybe he didn't know you were there. He got his Okay, room. but you knew I was there for the second time you went in. Oh, yeah. Oh, Larry. Dude, I went in to take the glass back. Oh, come on. Outside, you knew I was in the interview at that point. 
These guys are playing basketball outside. Tom. There's I didn't a, want the glass to get their yard. Is oh, come huge. on. There would have been somewhere to put it. Up on the deck, way over to the side. Hold it. There's plenty of room. He's playing soccer. He's kicking Up on the deck. I almost got hit twice with the ball to begin with. Yeah. Okay, but why couldn't you just put the thing somewhere else? The hold it. If he puts it out in the grass, could be ran by Walmart. So maybe he was being cautious. But that's what I mean. Okay, but again, what about the deck? All right, all right. No, so all right, all right. Here nor there. Sure went back at the same time. He's still, here yeah, he's not confused, not older, I'm yeah, sorry, but, no, but, but I mean, he's, got, he's, he's got a vested interest in what's going on, especially with you becoming the cameraman, right? I but, didn't but even know he was being but, all right, all right, all right, right, right. He went in there and he interrupted the conversation, you know what I mean? He just went in there, put the glass back and left. It's not that big a deal, like, Tom. It could have been way worse. Right, but it was that second time oh, when he interrupted he the interview. Well, that's the because interview. I heard something said about Dude. signing a contract. And what happened to not sabotage me? What happened mm -hmm. to the promise you made me? Mm. I wasn't sabotaging you. I I simply asked what's going on because from my understanding, hold on, wait a second. I don't, I'm going to defend myself right now. From my understanding, me, JT, Jesse, um, Michael, and Brian were some, and Swift even were all what supposed to talk saying? about who. The cameraman was going to be like, in other words, like our vote on it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But all of a sudden, I'm in there getting a glass of water, mm. or no, that's when I was bringing the glass back. Excuse me. <laughs> I hear Jesse saying about signing the contract, so I ask, what's going on? Because from my understanding, we were all supposed to have a group talk Where's about the, this. That is a good well, point. did you not think that he would have brought it up later, maybe? Oh. Well, no, I didn't. At that point, I was like, what's going on? But think about how miserable he's sitting there trying to get this job, and then his dad walks in. Do you understand his me? Dad. Like that, right? You get that? I, if Tom, he's reactive. He always has been. He hears that contract. Like you said, now he's not only it, it affects everything. His channel. He's very passionate about this channel. Yeah, and he cares about it, right? So it, it, it's it's a. It didn't excuse you for interrupting the You shouldn't have said anything. You should have just left it and like that. I would have said anything. The first time when I went in and got the glass of water, I didn't say nothing. I was asked a question. Like, what are you doing in here? Right, because it's supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one interview. You weren't supposed right. to be in there. Yeah, Nobody else was supposed to be yes, in there. Yeah, I said, what are you yeah, doing yeah. in here? And I, I was like, I'm getting a glass of water. And I got the glass. I wouldn't have said anything. I was just wanting a glass of water. And I went outside. Yeah, then you should stop. If you were to stop doing that, I'd be like, all right, Tom, I get you being upset, but... I mean, he to didn't tell you the truth, came back in. I thought the interview. And then I'm like, did you come back in? And then you interrupted it. I thought the interview was over. I mean, it was a long time that they were inside the inside there. I, I, mean, I, I can see where you're coming from with this. If I, I was done, to... I would have come back outside. I wanted, but I, yeah, I thought maybe you guys were just talking in there at this point. So I brought the glass back in to put it in the sink. I mean, so it's, it, that still doesn't really out. matter. If it's a one-on-one -on -one interview, you shouldn't have been going in there to begin with. Tom, I'm sorry. All right. Like, I didn't do it to sabotage you. I, I did he not reacted. sabotage he you. He reacted. I, don't, I, I believe him what he's saying. I don't think he intentionally went in there to sabotage your interview. Because, one, think about this, Tom, right? Jesse knows your dad. You know, I don't think he would let something that he did affect your interview, right? He, you're still in the competition. I think he reacted to the situation. I'm not saying he was right. It wasn't. He shouldn't have came back in. I don't think he intentionally tried to sabotage. I think he just reacted. Right. I, I, I'm not saying it's right because it wasn't. It's kind of a, a, no, I, I, but it still doesn't make sense. Why would you come in for a glass of water and there's plenty of water outside? You have your mini cooler full of beer. I already told you the water was. It's not the kind of water I like. Okay, forget the water then. What about the beer, huh? You had plenty of that. I only had four beers. That's all I took. My interview is early on. If you're telling me you drank four beers that fast, I'm not going to believe you. I don't always. Really you know me, Joe. I don't always drink beer all the time. I drink water sometimes. Yeah, well, you I have know. to go back and forth because yeah. there's a hydration that's very important. Yes, but it, he's saying that he drank all four beers. No, I was I, like I, the I, third I, interview. I don't even remember if I had beers left in there you or not. At that point. Beers I wanted there. water at that point. That's it. Okay, well, there's still water outside. And even still, you could have waited till after we were done our interview to go in and get the water. I don't even understand what the big deal is. It's not like that anything happened. Because why would you have gone inside unless you were trying to either eavesdrop or sabotage me? Tom, all right, yeah, my blood good. pressure medicine, I needed to take it, all right, so I went in for a glass of water. Is that okay? It couldn't have waited 20 minutes? No, well, dehydration can really mess up with your blood pressure. Really? And if you have to take medicine, I, I mean, he's all... Again, 20 minutes? Maybe. If that... I don't understand what the big deal is. It's not like I did anything. It's like... All I did was ask a question after I heard a, heard Jesse say the one comment. Because it's supposed it. to be a personal interview. But it, Nobody it, else was supposed like to even be in there. Said, 
Well, Tom can't have his job. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't no, because you, you just be rehashing what you've been saying for the past like two weeks now. Uh, he said, I, it's hard because I, I understand why you're so mad, Tom. I, I'm not downplaying it. I, I, I'm completely empathetic. He did say he was sorry for interrupting the conversation the same time going back in there. I guess the thing that makes it, in my opinion, what makes it bad is that, like, like, Jesse and Tom, like, wanted to talk about this in private, and then they would both kind of, like, be like, okay, so how are we going to go about this telling your dad? Because we know that he's not going to like this, so what's the best way? And then, you know, they would kind of figure it out, since it is a sensitive topic, they'd be able to sit down and, and talk about, like, you know, like, I don't know, it's almost like because he came in, there's no room for... You know, like thinking about um, how to go about telling him or even negotiating anything. Like it's just he just blew up and then that's it. Um, so now it's almost like, I don't know, it's like it's like start off, start off on the wrong foot. Because um, like Jesse obviously doesn't want to do anything that would harm Larry's lounge. And he's not doing anything like to hurt Larry personally or or anyone a part of Larry's lounge but he still wants Tom and he has every right to want him and Tom has every right to want to be with Jesse to do the videos and stuff so I just think that it's just better to kind of like think about things like Jesse told him the idea you know or told him like that he wants him and then they should have like talked about like later on like okay like we need to figure out how we're gonna tell him um, and everyone else, too, because I think that's important. Like, ease it in or something in a way that everyone is benefiting. So that's why I think that's kind of the biggest issue uh, with me, like, him going in, because it's like, not only, like, it, like, not only did he interrupt the interview and all that stuff, but he's assuming a lot of things, too, which he's right. Larry is right on what he was assuming. But, um, I don't know, it's just like jumping the gun and overreacting, um, at that moment. I mean, he could re-overreact, but not at that moment. But, anyway. Um. I mean, I guess, like, yeah, if it were me or whatever, I mean, I guess, like, you know, I would overreact, too. I would do the same thing. Like, what did you say? Like, what? But then it's almost like, like, I don't know. I think it's he's kind of wrong in the first place to not let Tom want, do this or make Tom feel bad for wanting this. I don't think that's right. So I don't know. I think I think like something needs something should have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So you know, it's getting. Yeah, I don't understand what you want. Tom. I mean, it's no, like, I tell, no, 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 no. Don't get too defensive. You, you apologize. I'm not saying you haven't stepped into anything right now, but it's. Wednesday night, you know what I mean? We're, we're doing a podcast. Like, let's just like... Ooh, and, what if that podcast is going to be really dramatic? I mean, there's going to be a lot of drama between everyone. Ooh. What if that podcast is like a, a skit, almost? Like, where they try to do the podcast, but they're all in a fighting. Fighting? Um, that would be pretty interesting. <laughs> Air it all out. We feel good. Let's have a good time tonight. Hmm. He apologized. I mean... I think you should still want it for a little bit, kind of. We'll definitely hear about this in the podcast, so that's an interesting thing. I don't know. I just, I'm, yeah, I, don't know. I mean, what more do you want? What I would want is for you to just come clean and say that you did go in to sabotage me. It, it, I, oh my gosh. Not, Sean, first of all, I didn't know you were in there interviewing. How'd you have not known? You literally just have to look around, see who's there. So track one. Oh, that's who's inside. What is there, seven mm -hmm. guys, eight guys? Exactly. That's not that difficult to tell who's missing. I didn't go around the circle saying, really okay, Javi's here, uh, Miguel's here, uh, Sam. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Tom's in there now. You could have just what? looked around. You didn't. Even, you don't need to make it obvious. I, I mean, I wouldn't either. In all honesty, Tom, I'm, I'm not being inside. I'm just saying, if I was mm -hmm. going to get a glass of water, I wouldn't think, look who's around, make sure that certain people aren't inside. Especially if you're not even thinking of the interview. That's exactly what I was going to say. Especially if you didn't think the interview was inside the kitchen. Right, I would have thought it would have been in the living room. Why is it at the kitchen? Anywhere but inside the kitchen. That's where the one area where everybody would go. The yeah, and the bathroom, bathroom is right it there. It goes two away. It is. The bathroom is right there. The chances of me having to go to the bathroom are very high, too. 
But I hadn't He's broken the se- I hadn't broken the seal at that point. It was surprising. Or else I'd have been in every five minutes yeah. after that. You had no problem going in the woods before. Yeah, so you could be outside, dude. You're well, right. like, there's too many guys really? out there. Yeah, I get the pea shies, man. <laughs> all that space, all that's the true. things you could have just gone behind. That's the first thing you said. Plus, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of ticks, too. No, nah, that's true. There are ticks are horrible this season, Tom. Absolutely horrible. Uh, the mulch looks great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. You did a good job. I don't understand what the problem is. I told you I was sorry. I didn't do anything there. All I did was question. That's it. <sighs> This is getting nowhere. Poor Tom, it's okay. My puppy needs to go outside. Ugh. Wait, what'd you say? Sorry. This really just isn't getting anywhere. Oh, okay. When you walk in on him, oh, uh, Larry's left. Ooh, oh, oh, cool, cool. I was kind of waiting for the the preview today. A special shout out to Bree Douglin, I believe it's pronounced. Ooh, I know. Or is it Douglin? I don't know, but Bree, we Douglin. love you. Thank you for your support. Ashley Munson, much love. Thank you guys. Matt Riley, Kelly Dar, you guys are incredible. Thank you guys for uh, donating the podcast. We really appreciate. So imagine you. what you missed in twenty seven years. Yeah. I wonder waking imagine. up from that if you feel like you were dead. Or like, does your brain just go right? Kind of like when you wake up, you're like, your brain reacclimates, and you're like, oh, I remember what I did last night. For that time, you're like, I'm always getting the most ridiculous handshake. Like my hand is sore. They're trying, right. they're trying to flex me. That's why. That's what it is. It's just like, hey, Jess, you yeah. gonna be alive? Yeah. Right. My hand is shaking harder than yours. Yeah. Get yeah, my face, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's some uh, preview. So, oh, jeez, I gotta watch this crazy video next. Oh my god. Well, I hope you guys liked that video. I hope you guys liked that reaction. My puppy needs to go out. Keeps pacing around. Um, but yeah, freaking Larry. I knew it. I mean, obviously, we all do that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked that video. Um, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, you can. If you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, I'll put the link in the description. And I guess that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.